So today we're going to start looking at how to integrate BMC Discovery to Microsoft Power BI so that you can do your reporting in their dashboards if required. So to start with, the first step is obviously to integrate Microsoft Power BI into BMC Discovery. So to do that, first of all, we're going to come into BMC Discovery um, and I'm just going to hop over to the uh, REST API. Um, get the links. I'm going to make sure that I'm authorized inside of here. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to do uh, Power BI. And then I'm going to run data get. And we're just going to do a very simple search host. And we're going to run and try it out. And here we can see that we've got our results. So we've got the API just to do a search host and bring us our, our data back. Um, so now I'm going to hop over to Power BI. Uh, the desktop version and our first step is we're going to integrate power bi into discovery so i'm going to create a web connection and connect and the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to do um, hop over and we're going to copy in our url so i'm going to come over and i'm going to take our url from our, our page And we're going to put that in as a URL. Um, I'm also going to take off the limit so that we just have a search host. Um, and then if I pop back over to my REST API page, you'll see that I've got some information here about the um, application JSON and um, a header for authorization. Okay. So I'm going to pop back into uh, Power BI. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do accept and we're going to put in here application JSON, and then we're going to add a header for authorization, and we're going to put in bearer, pop back over, and then from our string up here, we're going to grab our API key, which is this section here. Copy that. Uh, pop back in, we can uh, paste that into our authorization. I'm going to do OK. What you now see is I've come straight through to my query builder, um, and you'll see that in here um, I uh, now have um, a record. And if I click into the record, you'll see that I've got some results back from running my, um, uh, my query, which is search host. And you'll see that if I was, for example, going to my headings, you'll see that I've got the headings back from my uh, from my search host um, from uh, from the query part. Um, so one of the important kind of parts to to highlight from here, if I go back to um, discovery, one of the things you'll notice about the format of the JSON um, is you do not have um, attribute name and attribute value in the format that come that comes back. Uh, so what you find is you have right at the top, you have your headings, uh, which are in, um, in an array at the top, and then you have um, all of your results in a separate array at the bottom, um, which is why when you come into desktop, you will see that you have one record returned, but in effect, you have two sets of results. You have your headings list and you have your results list. So it's not a straight forward is just now being able to process the data that's come that's come back what we now need to be able to do is split those two queries out process them both join them and then we can start using them in our dashboard um, so that's what we're going to be coming coming on to now i'm going to work uh with the headings file first or the, or the results for the headings first so what we need to do is we need to basically convert these into two different queries that have come back and then process each query individually. So uh, within this view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a list, I'm going to right click and I'm going to do add as new query. Um, that gives me my, my first list um, or my headings. And then once I've got that, we're going to convert that into a table. Um, and we will just select um, a comma sign um, 
do enter and I've got my column name uh, and once we've uh, we've got those so then we want to uh, get them so that so that what we now have is we have them across in our rows um, so that's the values that we now have uh, name OS vendor virtual partition cloud and endpoint um, as we are uh, as we go across So we're now going to go back and we're going to do the same, um, but this time we're going to do that with our results. So I'm going to, going to go back over to uh, search query app here. We have our results list. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to do add as new query. Um, this gives me my results um, and it gives me kind of everything that I have down here as a uh, as list. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, to table. So we're going to convert that into um, a table. I'm going to do uh, none. Um, that's going to give us all our results here, um, but it's not quite as easy as getting our values um, over uh, because what we have is we have a set of results with multiple um, results inside each one of these values. And what we're trying to do is get these split into the columns to actually match. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, rename this um, the header. Um, of that, so I'm just going to do our rename and do uh, column, um, and then we're going to start adding custom columns and putting the data across. Go to um, add column, um, and we're going to do custom co column. Um, we're going to add this one in, and what we're going to do is we're going to call this one uh, column one. And we're going to do uh, list dot first column. And we're going to do OK. We see now this is brought in our, our host name. Um, and we're going to do this uh, column by column as we go until we've got all of our, our data. Um, put across. So I'm going to do uh, the next one in here so you can kind of see the concept. So we're going to add a custom column again. And this one is going to be a column two. And we're going to do equals uh, list dot first. Let me give you list skip. that one and this one we have our OS and we're going to keep going across um, for the six columns that we have so I'm just going to crack on and get those done um, and then um, we'll recap at the end okay so I've got to the end of that and I've added in uh, my custom uh, columns um, as you can see I've ended up with uh, seven custom columns in here so just a quick recap of what we've done so we took the uh, second query, which was the results. We convert that into a table, which has given us a single column with one result or one array or one list uh, per row. But each one of those results contains this information. So if I go into here, it'll have all of these fields, um, hostname, OS, um, whether it's virtual or not, and details about the host contained within each row. So what we needed to do in Power BI is we needed to split those out so that we had all of that data in a column by itself. So what we did is we renamed the first one um, to be just column. The reason we've done that is because at the end of this, we're going to get rid of that. We don't need those results anymore. Um, and then we've added custom columns in and the code we've written basically says for column one, go into the list and get me the first entry and put it into column one, which will be name. Uh, the second one was then go back into the result list, skip the first entry, but give me the second, which was uh, OS. And, and we've gone across uh, for 
seven. Reason for that is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven column names. So we needed to split all that data um, into the columns that we have here. So now we've got that, and what we've been able to, to do is we now can take the initial one and we're going to uh, right click on that and we are going to delete it. So we're going to remove that, which leaves us with basically the export of the data that we took all across the rows, which is exactly what we wanted to have. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to uh, join uh, these queries together and link them um, so that I have my column headings and my results in one of my reports. If I'm going to go to home um, and what I'm going to find in here is I'm going to want to be able to start linking, uh, linking my data uh, together. So in my headers, um, what I should have is the ability to append, um, append my rows. Um, so if I go, um, I think it's under com uh, combine and append my queries. I can concatenate rows from two tables into a single. Um, so I'm going to want to sit on my headings first. Um, I'm going to combine, append uh, two tables, table to append. I'm going to take my results. I'm going to do OK. So what we now see in my view is I have all my rows here and I have my first row is my name, OS, um, and all the information. Um, so obviously now what I want to do is I want to select, um, I want to select my first row. And once I've selected my first row, um, I want to go back and I want to use my first row as my header row. So I'm going to click that. Um, and now my columns have been changed. So I've got my name and my OS um, and all of the data that I wanted um, at the top. See, so I've got my name, got my OS, my vendor, virtual partition, cloud, and my endpoint um, at the top. And um, to make this more, uh, more readable, I'm probably going to change that um, and I'm going to rename that and uh, we'll make that endpoint. Um, now that I've got that, um, I'm happy. Um, we're going to use that. That's going to be, uh, be saved. Um, so I will save that. Now that's been saved, what you're going to see is you have some fields that have appeared on my Power BI desktop. And so what I have down here is here's my headings, my results, and the search, uh, search query that I have. Um, and when I kind of click into these, um, you'll see it kind of gives me, uh, these are the values and the columns that I have, um, and uh, the information that I've got. Um, and then it's just a case really of kind of dragging in the kind of the values and what I want to see. So for example, um, if I wanted to see a table in here, I'm going to grab a table um, onto the dashboard. That's what I've got. Um, and inside that, we're going to take from the headings. I literally want to take, um, let's take uh, name. We see it start to appear in there. We'll take uh, OS. Um, Vendor, virtual, and end, endpoint. And I can expand uh, my query here. And we'll take that across. Um, and that will give me uh, my table view at the top and the data that I want. If we put a couple more in there, so we give that cloud and partition. We'll see I've got all my value in there. Um, now, if I kind of want to chart some data um, off of that, uh, let's take a pie chart. Um, um, so what we'll do with that is in the pie chart, we're going to put the um, OS in um, and we'll put the OS in to here. So now we've got our OS uh, chart. What I'm going to do is we will make that a half width on the page. Um, and then potentially we want to do um, another chart, which might be a bar chart. And we want to do that on... Um, the vendor um, of what we have. So let's do um, bar chart, put the bar chart in. Um, it's going to be on vendor. Um, and then we're going to put the vendor uh, into the value as well. 
Um, so straight away, I've now got uh, my list of my hosts, my OS uh, and my vendor um, information that's sitting in here. Um, and therefore, once I've kind of built my dashboard up and we can kind of do what we want and we can uh, f filter the things that we need on, on here, next stage would be to publish this so that I can kind of make this available in the web front end um, or the, uh, the service for Power BI. So I'm going to click on publish here um, on the right hand side. Yes, I want to save my changes. And we're going to publish this, um, and we're going to call this a uh, TechWorks uh, integration to discovery, and we'll do uh, we'll do save. And then where would I like this to go? We're going to publish that to my workspace TechWorks BMC discovery integration. We'll do select. And we will close that down. And then if I go over to my service, my uh, my Power BI, and what you see now is I go into reports, um, and on my reports page, underneath my uh, TechWorks BMC Discovery integration, I have a report that's available to me. And I click on that report, and you now say that what I've got published in Microsoft Power BI are the results of the query. Um, from discovery. So you can see I've got my list. So this is the list of all the exports of all the hosts that I took uh, from uh, from discovery. Um, and then what we can see also is I've got my account of vendor by vendor down here and account of my operating uh, system instances um, in my pie chart. Um, and that's kind of uh, the basics for getting a Microsoft Power BI and its reporting capability integrated into the data that you're pulling from Discovery.